Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scenes here at Tractors and Cream. This week we'll be moving the pad stones from the bottom up to the top where we're going to be building the outdoor kitchen. And then it's half term, so we've got some of our friends from Freelance Mum coming down for a tree plant out, so that should be quite good fun. And then we've got our nephew Tom coming down, bringing us all the wood to begin the cladding of our hut. I'm really excited about seeing all this wood, and hopefully it'll be perfect for the cladding. And we can crack on, although the weather's not looking that great, so fingers crossed it all goes according to plan. break in the weather so I've come up here onto the field to sort out this outdoor kitchen decking area. Brian moved this just moved the pads ends up here so now I've been digging in where they're all gonna go and I've got a plan which I can't see. So the plan shows exactly where the pad ends have got to go because I want to basically replicate exactly where they came from down by the yurt down there and I have now got them all up here to arrange in exactly the right place so the deck can be put down exactly where it should be. They're vaguely in the right place now, I just need to level them all. But it's starting to rain so I'm going in. We're really into tree planting here at Tracks and Cream. Um, all together, including this woodland here and all the hornbeams that are all around the yurts, we've planted one, over 1,250 trees, um, trying to do our bit for the planet. And we're really excited about the fact that Faith and Freelance Mum is coming down for a tree plant out. So we're getting some families down and we'll be teaching them how to plant trees, how to maintain them, make sure the deer don't eat them. Um, so hopefully it should be quite good fun. This morning we've got a tree planting event here with Freelance Mum. So we bought a lot of trees. We've probably got about 20 different trees that we're going to plant up in the woodland. And each family is going to make their own little plaque to put on their tree. And we've got Rachel here, who's Hello. tree planting expert <laughs> slash forest school leader, who's going to help us out. So yeah, it should be good fun. Hello, I'm Faye from Freelance Mum. I'm here at Tractors and Cream today with my girls and some of the um, other mums and children from Freelance Mum. And we're here because, well, basically, I just get so sick and tired of feeling completely empowered and that we can't do our bits and we to make a difference. So we're here for a plant house. As you've spotted my children. So we're going to be planting some trees. I feel like we're doing our bit to try and blow and reach carbon neutral one day. Um, and also, the other really lovely thing is, of course, when we come back to try to some cream, we can come visit our trees. And we've got some lovely um, pieces of wood here. We're going to make some blacks. We're going to decorate them, our names on them. And then we'll have lots of fun coming back and spotting our trees in a year's time. I'm sure you'll spot me and my children as well. We've got lots of families here who are all planting using our spade wiggling method to um, to plant their trees. What have we got here? We've got an uh, osier willow here we're going to plant. Brilliant. That's not going to work, Annabelle, I don't think. We're going to have to wrap the spiral around, okay? Because this is quite a big tree, this, isn't it? And brilliant. We've finished our tree planting now, so we've just come back in for some coffee and cake. Which is going down very well with the kids. Tom's going to be here soon because we've got to crack on with this hut build. It's, I really wanted it ready for a birthday party we've got in a couple of weeks, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but we've just got to carry on with it and get as much done as we can, ready for the summer. Tom's just arrived back and he has brought with him all our cladding, which is very exciting. Maybe you can get off it now, William. We're in the middle of Storm Dennis, but 
we've got to carry on. So we're just planning our next stage of the build. Let's go. What we're doing now is just bracing across the top with some tensioning wire, just for added stability. And then I'm gonna make it look pretty with some ivy and some fairy life. I'm not enjoying the weather. Typically, as soon as Tom had gone, the skies cleared and it was absolutely beautiful weather. So we thought, right, let's just crack on and try and see if we can get any of this roof on. So we had to get the sterling board, get it onto the roof, slide it all the way up there and then try and draw mark on it where we needed to cut. But as it's all such odd angles, it was really difficult. So I had my Sharpie out and was drawing lines and then Brian was cutting along my lines in the hope that actually it might work. Whilst we're busy trying to do the roof, child number two has gone and got himself actually stuck in the mud. That which boot is stuck? What? Okay, I'm coming. Right, pull. Hang on. That's it. Got it. Got it. Well done. You're out. Right, mummy, daddy, busy. Yeah. Why are you going in those giant boots? To save William. Oh, too late, we've already saved him. <laughs> well, it didn't quite go according to plan. Storm Dennis was a total washout, so we didn't get quite as much done as we wanted to. But onward and upward, we'll get it done at some point, and hopefully you'll see that in the next episode. <laughs>